two optical sensors A and B which are positioned at 90 degree to each other as shown in a figure. Half of the disc is white and remaining half is black. When black portion is under sensor, so when black portion is under sensor, that sensor will generate logic zero. Whenever white portion comes under the sensor, it will generate logic high. The behavior of both the sensors is same. Now you have to design a direction finder block using digital components, flip-flops and gates to indicate logic 0 for clockwise and logic 1 for counterclockwise rotation of the disk. So for example, if this disk is rotating in a clockwise direction, then direction finder should give logic 0. But if it is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction, then this direction Finder should give logic 1. Friends, you can pause my video here and take your time to solve this problem. And I will be more than happy if you share in the comment section how many of you are able to solve this problem. Otherwise, I will let you know its answer. Now, let me explain you its answer. So, before knowing its answer, let us see the output of both the sensors A and B when the disk is rotating in a clockwise direction. So, this is the first position. So output on sensor A will be high and output of sensor B will be zero. Now as this disk is rotating in a clockwise direction, so both the sensors A and B will come in touch with white portion of the disk. So both will give output as high. So this is the third position where A will give logic zero and B will give its output as logic high. And this is the fourth position when both the sensors A and B will give logic 0 as its output and then it will come to its original position where sensor A will give logic i and sensor V will give logic 0 and so on. Similarly, let us see the output of both the sensors A and B when disk is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction. So this is the original position. At this position, output of sensor A will be high and output of sensor B will be 0. As this disk is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction, so both the sensors A and B will come in touch with black portion of the disk. So both the sensors will give output as zero. Now this will be the third position when sensor A will give logic zero and sensor B will give logic high. And this is the fourth position. Both the sensors will give its output as logic one. And then it will come to its original position where sensor A will give logic 1 and sensor V will give logic 0 and so on. Friends, if you take your attention at the output of sensor A and B, when the disk is rotating in a clockwise as well as in the anti-clockwise direction, you will come to know its answer. As we need to design this direction finder block, so this block definitely needs one of the signal as a clock input signal. Now let us take our attention at the output of sensor A and B. So output of sensor A is 11001100. Clearly it is an periodic signal with 50% duty cycle. Similarly the output of sensor B is a periodic signal with 50% duty cycle. So one of the signal can be used as a clock signal to this direction finder. The behavior is same in anti-clockwise direction as well. The output of sensor A is a periodic signal with 50% duty cycle. And the same is the case with sensor B. And let us assume that I am applying the output of sensor A as a clock signal to this direction finder. Now let us try to observe the value of sensor B whenever there is a positive edge on the clock. Clock means output of sensor A. So this is zero. And what is the expected behavior of this direction finder when disk is rotating in a clockwise direction? We know the output of this direction finder should be zero. And what is the value on this sensor B? It is zero. Now, even if I take a simple D flip flop and I apply the output of sensor A as a clock signal and output of sensor B as a data signal, it will serve my purpose. At the positive edge of the clock, the input value B is zero. So Q will become zero. So that means it is the output of this direction finder and it meets my expected behavior. 
Now let us see if the same circuitry serves a purpose when disk is rotating in an anti-clockwise rotation. So output of sensor A is a clock signal. So at the positive edge of the clock, the value on sensor B is 1. So input of this flip-flop will become 1 when there is a positive edge of the clock. So output will become high. And the same is expected from this direction finder. When disk is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction, this direction should signal should have value high. In short, this simple D flip-flop will act as a direction finder. And friends, now I am going to wrap up this video here and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And in future, we are going to create many such videos. Viewers who have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. And to get the notification of all the videos as early as possible, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Your support means a lot to us.